the channel hope you guys are doing well today I'm doing this tutorial right here using all of my products from my February monthly makeup basket if you guys want to see a more in-depth look at all of the products and some swatches I'll be sure to link that video down below talking about this new series I'm doing every month and it's just a great way to pull things out of your collection show them some love start using them so this is the look I came up with now the only product I did not use sadly <laughs> I was playing with this the other day figuring out what look to do for this video and it's the Kat Von D ink liner in the shade wolf it's just a nice sort of matte gray color it just hit a felt tip and it ran out it's like completely dead like there is nothing left inside of it so uh, this will definitely be in my next empties video keep an eye out for that that'll be coming really soon so I'm glad that I finished it up. It actually lasted for a really long time, so I'm going to take this out of my February makeup basket because obviously I used it up. I only was able to do like one eye. If I can find the photo on my phone, I'll pop it here up on the screen. I was just playing around with this, and I was originally going to do a purple eye look and then do a gray liner, and it looked really, really pretty, and then like mint green on the bottom, but yeah. The plans changed. We went with blue. Lots of blue going on. Lots of mermaid vibes. So if you guys want to see how I did this tutorial using all the products in my February monthly makeup basket, the Delphi keep watching. Let's get into the tutorial. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and prime my lids with the white pomade here from Makeup Revolution. I'm just going to use my finger and apply the product all over to the lid and all the way up to the brow bone. This really helps bright colors pop even more. Um, it is a little bit on the dry side, but once you work it out, it's not too bad. And I'm just gonna set that with a little powder. And then to finish off the face, I'm just adding some blush. This one is from Jordana. And of course, these products are in my February basket. Not all of them, but most of them. And then I'm gonna highlight next. And this has a really pretty soft pinky tone to it. So I'm just going to highlight my cheekbones, nose, and cupid's bow. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and set my face. I like doing my face makeup lately first, before eyes. I don't know why, but I just feel like I get done a lot faster. Alright, let's go ahead and start with the eyes. I'm using this beautiful palette from Menagerie Cosmetics. But I am going to use this transition color from the Feral palette this is the original matte transition shade so it's just a nice neutral color i'm just laying that down in the crease and then next i'm taking this really pretty bright teal blue and i'm gonna start building this in the crease and slowly just blending um it definitely took a lot to blend some of these colors because they are so bright um, but just take your time and i found that uh, i was able to get that really nice bright pigmentation that i wanted and then next i'm going in with the color pop shadow in coconut finally using this shade after it being in my collection for what seems like forever so i'm just applying this to the lid and making sure to blend out the edges into the shade that we laid down in the crease i just kind of went back and forth adding and then blending adding and then blending and then i'm going back in with that really pretty teal color and just really concentrating that blending that into the shade on the lid just so those two colors mesh together really nicely and there's no harsh lines and then taking this really soft seafoam green color i'm going to apply this and blend it into that blue shade i just really love that pop of green so i'm just blending that really well into the blue and then taking Pegasus from Makeup Geek Cosmetics on a small little flat brush. And I'm going to apply that to the inner corner and kind of overlap that onto coconut. And just kind of go back and forth and blend those two shades. I really wanted to add a little pop of a lighter blue. And so Pegasus worked out really great for this. I'm going to use a lime green metallic shade for the waterline. And then moving on to the lower lash line, I'm going to take that same light green color and start off with that first, packing that on the lower lash line, and then blending it. And then going in with the darker green right next to that shade, I'm going to darken up the lower lash line a little bit more using a flat liner brush just to really smoke it out. And then going back in and going to blend with that light mint shade. I really love the greens in this palette. They really pop and look really pretty. 
going through with one final blend just to finish everything off and now we're going to highlight the inner corner with the lightest shade there's really only two shimmery colors in this palette so I'm using that to highlight the inner corner in the brow and then because I really had to incorporate this liquid shadow from Wet n Wild because it's my February basket <laughs> I did use this to highlight the inner corner and wow wow love how this turned out it really made that inner corner pop I'm going to do my typical winged eyeliner using my NYX matte liquid liner, which is my favorite. And then I got pretty, pretty hungry during this tutorial because it was so time consuming, so I ate a banana. <laughs> Alright, so to finish off this look, I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara to my top and bottom lashes, making sure to curl them really well. This definitely helps because my lashes don't want to curl. And I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way mascara on the top and then the Mega Length and Waterproof on the bottom, which I believe has been repackaged and reformulated and everything from Wet n Wild, so I'm really sad about that. <laughs> so for the lips, I'm going to try to incorporate this Milani lipstick. The lip colors that I chose for February, uh, not a good choice with these bright eyeshadows, but I made it work. Just using a pinky toned mauve liner and then mixing a little bit of that Milani lipstick into the lip liner. And then I topped it off with a little gloss just to kind of soften the color a little bit more. And then I also applied some lashes off camera and these are new, the AOA Studio Foaming Lashes and that completes this look. Alright guys, so that completes this tutorial and look using all the items from my February makeup basket. Super excited to continue playing and using these things, especially the Dragon Child palette. I can already tell you, I am so in love with the colors in here. I will say that so far using this palette, you definitely have to take your time blending these shades because bright colors are not always the easiest to work with but i'm really happy with how this turned out i feel like everything blended really nicely you just have to take that extra time to blend those colors together so let me know if you guys want me to do like an update on all these products and like my thoughts if i'm going to get rid of anything if i don't like something in my monthly basket makeup basket uh definitely leave a comment below i could do like another tutorial and then talk about my likes and dislikes i don't know it is an option. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you'd enjoy. As always, the products will be listed in the description box. So definitely check that out. You can find me on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I do tweet. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I post every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes on Sunday every single week. I will catch you all in the next video. Remember, smarter beauty is better beauty. Bye, guys.